So welcome to Oak Island, a magnificent hike out on the Sovi Island at the end of the road here. You come out to this uh, gravel parking lot, dirt parking lot at the end of the road here. And uh, we're surrounded by open fields all around us, as you'll see. And um, I love coming out here because of the magnificent patches of original oak, um, oak woodland, which would have been intact throughout the Willamette Valley historically. And uh, this is about a two and a half, three mile walk. One book says it's 2.8 miles uh, flat walk. And we do a loop around this amazing oak woodland uh, with views out over the water and the grasslands around us. Come on, let's go check it out. Coming through the gate out here, the first thing you're gonna come to is, um, well actually it looks like a three-way split, but we wanna go straight ahead here. There's a uh, left turn over here that goes through the grassland around this little patch of oak forest and it meets the main trail, which is the uh, road straight ahead. There's a sign that says nature trail here. There's a spur road that goes off to the right over here out to some abandoned or old farmhouses across a field. Uh, but that's just a short dead end out there. So we really want to go straight ahead on this nature trail route. And we'll enter into a little patch of oak woodland here right away. Beautiful little spot. In the spring, this is an amazing place because it's lush with birds. There's orioles and black-headed grosbeaks and white-breasted nuthatches and house wrens. Uh, chickadees, there's a wide variety of birds singing here. It can be very noisy and very birdy in the spring. Coming through uh, this first patch of woodland here, we already begin to become familiar with some of the plants of this kind of habitat. Really common in here is the snowberry, which you can recognize by the opposite leaves on it. Um, this is also mixed with a lot of Himalayan blackberry, unfortunately, an invasive weed that forms large thickets in here. Um, here mixed with some wild rose, which is blooming right now with some pink flowers. Most days out here, it's extremely peaceful. Uh, you often to hear airplanes flying over to the Portland airport and the Scapoose airport with small planes likes to come out here and do fright, uh, practice runs on small planes. But in general, very quiet, very peaceful out here. As you leave that little patch of woods just outside the parking lot, you now enter the big open fields, which are so phenomenal here. You have these incredible views of the sky. Um, and this is where the big patch of oak woodland is that we're gonna walk around. The trail loop here joins, so you can either go straight ahead along the west side of the patch of trees or turn right and go through the fence um, I often like to go straight ahead and really just get out in these big open fields and walk along the fence line here for a long ways. Again, keep in mind this trail is just over two and a half miles, uh, so it's not that big of a loop. You can do it in an hour. Eventually you come to the end of this long open stretch and we enter some woodland edge here. We'll go through a gate off to the side and enter some forest. Now we'll start to, we're getting to the tip of the peninsula we're on that's part of the loop. We'll get to the tip, go around the tip, and then down the back side of the woodland to the forest on the other side. But first we gotta get through this little gate here. Very simple gate, it's not locked or anything. Just pull it open. Now watch out for this manure here. As you come around this first bend in the trail here, look up and ahead. What you see here is a large and active eagle nest through the spring and summer. There'll be pairs of birds sitting up there, not there. They're probably off feeding, uh, leaving their young on the nest. Sometimes they're here and they're very noisy. Come around here to the far end of the trail. We're as far from the parking lot as we can get. We're at the tip of the peninsula. Large open fields out here. And uh, while wow, you're out in the middle of the wilds of Soviet Island, you could just keep walking out there through the grassland. There's a mix 
of uh, lakes out there, so I'm not sure how far you could get before you hit lakes, but you could just wander off trail to some magnificent habitat. Keep in mind that this place is only open, uh, this trail is only open from early May through October, so it's a limited season, so you really want to come out here and enjoy it while it's open. So we've come around the tip of the peninsula. The trail's now looping back towards the parking lot, but there's a long walk here on the backside. We don't have quite the open views of the sky. We're not in open grassland. Uh, more kind of in a mixed thicket area and forested wood area. Um, but this is a really peaceful stretch because now you really feel like you're on your own little world here. Long, peaceful stretch along here. Uh, tall grasses, no cows. So I really enjoy this part of the walk. This last bit of the hike here as we loop back to the, the meeting point where we left earlier is probably my favorite part of the walk because here you're in you're in oak woodland grassland as far as you can see out there you can just see like little stringers of meadows and grassy areas going off into magnificent oak trees and you're in it there's no fence in the way here this is where you really feel like you're in the intact pristine oak woodland of the willamette valley that's pretty much gone now and I just love this stretch. You can sit in the trees in here and just be surrounded by these magnificent old oak trees, incredible grassland in here, and uh, very, very birdy. I'm seeing on the ground these round baseball sized tan colored things, woody and hard. Um, and they come off the oak trees. If you look up, you'll see these baseball sized round things on these trees. These are not fruit. These are galls created by wasps that lay their eggs in the plant tissue. And then the plant responds by growing a circular growth around it. And here we're seeing them on the ground chewed open, uh, maybe by squirrels trying to get inside. There might be food in there, probably the larva of the wasp they're eating. I don't know what they're eating, but uh, generally you see them up in trees, but here we have one on the ground that's been chewed open. So there you have it. That's the Oak Island Loop. Right here, we come right into the sign that marks the beginning of the trail that we did. We went straight out there behind us that way around the whole peninsula and came right around back to here and then turn left here and that'll take us right back to the parking lot. There you go, Oak Island. I hope you can see why I enjoy this hike so much. It's an easy access in Portland. It's a great hike. And I hope you come out and enjoy this place as much as I do.